door waving goodbye, and I and it was very hard for me to come back. And I, I was prepared to tell Julie that I didn't think I could come back in these guest star appearances anymore because it was just so hard for me emotionally. Um, and, she, and she called me up one night, and I was prepared to say, I, I don't think I can do it anymore. And before I could say anything, she's like, well, we're thinking about closing down this limbo storyline, and we were thinking about bringing you back. How, how would you feel about it? And I was, I was so excited. I, I, <laughs> I had to keep my cool and not totally tip my hand. But I was, I was grateful because I, Vampire Diaries is like my family. You know, it's more than just a, a job opportunity. It's more than just a character. It's 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 been a, a whole life experience that I think is really unparalleled uh, in many ways. So I I, I, I felt great coming back. I was a little, I felt a little uncomfortable, a little nervous at first. You know, saying like, hey, I'm I'm back. I hope that's okay. I know everyone's kind of moved on, but you know, is this all right? But I think coming back, we've we've really gotten back on the same page right away, and it feels it feels good feels right and I feel like we're all much we're, we're all more mature we're all more in alignment and and I think the writing's never been better and I think the narrative is is what I had is moving in the direction I had always kind of secretly hoped it would be and so it's happening now so it's great like I could I couldn't couldn't be happier actually it's like you always kind of look back on high school or, or college saying like, oh man, I wish I could go back and do it again knowing what I know now. And I feel like I have that opportunity coming back, having grown so much since I've been away that I have a whole new appreciation for it. And I think we all do. So I think we're we're coming at season six knowing that, you know, the show's not going to be on forever and that we're moving into probably the the end game, you know, that I, and I think we have a, a, we've come into a new state of grace and appreciation for what we're doing and, and for each other. That I think it's really going to be a, a great experience for us personally and, and creatively. And, you know. Can you talk a little bit about how those other projects you worked on in between really helped you on Vampire Diaries and helped you with your tolerance to, to Vampire Diaries and your appreciation for the show itself? Well, you know, moving into cult was uh, a very challenging and, di and difficult experience. Um, in many ways, and it was this sort of meta show, interestingly enough, and I, and I felt like I was in this sort of meta experience with Alaric and Limbo, and so I had this this interesting sort of parody happening for me, and I, it definitely launched a, um, a sort of deep soul-searching for me over the last two years. It took me through a very turbulent time um, that felt very isolated, <laughs> isolated which, uh, which is good. I mean, those times are always good for, for growth and whatnot, and so... It was uh, it was frustrating because I felt like I wasn't getting traction. Like I couldn't get traction in in the cult experience. I couldn't get traction in these other things I was trying to do. I was auditioning for things that I did, my heart wasn't in. I just wasn't getting any traction, and I felt very very stuck. And and I and I honestly felt like there's such a, a connection to the fans have such a deep connection to these characters and such a deep association to us with these characters and with the show still going on, I think it would be very hard for people to leave the show and do something else outside the show. And it's, I, I kind of feel like until the show's actually over, you know, and, and we're released from the responsibility of these characters officially, it'll be very difficult for people to move forward energetically because it's such a bond that we've created, such an a gravitational energetic pull. And our show has established such a unique connection with our fans, I think, with, with social media, unlike any other show, that that has reinforced that energetic, gravitational connection. And so my feeling is that until the show is officially over, you're not going to really see people mature into the next phase of their creative choices. And so I'm grateful to be back. So I'm really here. I was not. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now he's in. Now he's in limbo. <laughs> Good luck, Ian. <laughs> and like trying to give him back. And we hear that there's also another teacher coming into the show. So where, where's Alaric going to? What direction is he going to take now that he's back? Well, I mean, Alaric's going to. Alaric, I think, will be um, very much a part of this 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 emerging narrative that I think is going to be really exciting, and I think that you will see. A development with a new teacher, and you're definitely going to see Alaric doing what he can to correct the error of Bonnie and Damon being where they where they are. Um, 
without giving away too much, the arc that's been uh, sketched for me for the whole season is, is I think, really exciting and phenomenal. And I think it's probably going to be the, the best season arc we've had in a, in a, in a while, at least f uh, from my perspective. Um, so you, you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, a, a arc in terms of how that um, is developing. I know that's generalized, you know, a actor speak, you know, because I can't, like... That's basically, yeah, I can't tell you. I can't, can yeah, so I'll have to try and artfully conjure something out of my ass. So <laughs> I, I apologize for not being more specific. Well, you're only in the second Yeah, 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 truly, truly. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think the season finale for season three was the hardest, you know, for me and for the character because they had this this parody of saying goodbye. So that was definitely the hardest, you know. And I think also coming back in these little guest star appearances after the fact was hard for me emotionally. Um, but that said, it's 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 such a great job anyway. It's a, what, the hardest thing is a relative, you know, it's a relative thing to answer when you you love what you do so much. You know, it doesn't feel like it's hard. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys.